Nick, how you been doing since the last time I talked to you? We're doing good. We actually went back over to the dam, uh, the area at least. We're not allowed to go down that road like you had just mentioned. Um, we tried to go down there a little earlier and they weren't letting anybody in there except for officials as they were trying to put more dirt down. But we actually, as we were over there, ran into State Senator Max Burns, talked to him for a little bit, and he said they are doing a great job of making sure that that dam does not break. I asked him, I said, you know, it looked like it was going to break. How does it look now? He said, it should be stable, hopefully by tonight. So they have been at work all day. They worked all throughout last night trying to get this together. And it looks like, according to State Senator Max Burns, that that dam is not going to break. That is terrific news because that was a much different story than we were hearing early on this morning. Just to give you the rundown of, of our side of things, what we heard uh, in the past 12 hours or so, we sent a crew down here this morning uh, to Screven County at about five o'clock. They got a notification when they came into the county, uh, crossing county lines, that said stay away from um, uh, Savannah Highway where we are and Eureka Road because of that dam is going to break. That's what the notification said, said it is going to break. We checked Screven County's Emergency Management Facebook. Their last update was about nine hours before that that said that it, it potentially could break. So we weren't exactly sure where it stood, but when we called GEMA, they said go with what we had just last reported, which was that it was going to break. So when we got out here, tensions were a little bit high. We were told uh, as soon as we got down there, we had to come back away from where they, the officials were because they were trying to get that situated. We had, uh, I believe it was someone with, someone with the county told us that if anybody that went down there, not just us, but if anybody went down there, they would be arrested. They wanted that dam clear for today. You probably saw in Will Rio's live shot last night if you were watching, there were people, as Will was talking, trying to get across the dam. We've heard a couple of different stories on that. One is that's a dead end road. So people who are down there are trapped down there. They can't get out. So it could have been people walking across trying to get out. And also it could have been people going across to try to help the people who are living down there and trapped, bringing them food, bringing them any other supplies that they may need, uh, trying to make sure that they're good while they have to wait this out. So uh, again, they told us none of that is okay today. If anybody's down there, they were going to get arrested. Uh, to my knowledge, nobody was, thankfully, uh, and, and we were able to get out of there. So that was one spot we checked. We also went over to Union Church Road, which if you've been watching the stream for a while, that's where we were 15, 20 minutes ago. Uh, that road was completely flooded, so we know there is a little creek over there, and we couldn't even see uh, how far the water went over the road. So when we got the drone up in the air, it was 800, 900 feet, something like that. Um, but we don't know how deep it was exactly. We could see a mailbox popping out of the top of that water. And so it came up pretty much to, to where you put the mail in there. The whole post was pretty much underwater. We uh, heard from someone who had come and, and driven down as we were about to leave. He was taking, it to, taking his kids down there to show them what it was like. And he said the house that we could see had another at least foot or two of water to it. So uh, that was this morning and yesterday. So it looks like things have calmed down a little bit today. Great news because of the dry weather that we've seen. Uh, I know that we were originally talking about we may see some more rain here in Screven County. We have completely dodged that today, at least where we are. Um, we've been in the uh, Newington area. Uh, we, were, we drove through Sylvania. We went down to uh, Oliver. And so all those places have looked good today. Another thing I wanted to point out is these road closures. We are seeing so many road closures. Just driving along Savannah Highway, pretty much every side street that we've gone past has been closed. And uh, one that, that was closed, let me uh, turn this around, see if you can see it from here. Come on now. There is a, you can kind of see through the trees over there. Uh, of the road closure so that was one that I was trying to get through actually I was coming this way trying to get back to the Dollar General so we could do a live shot a little while ago uh, and I was trapped about half mile down I got blocked off and couldn't get through so had to double back around and it took me about 25 more minutes just to get over to this Dollar General to be able to uh, get some service and go live so uh, these these little delays these little road closures that we're seeing can add 15 20 minutes to a drive so we have seen people go through them, which obviously we don't encourage. We saw it a couple times yesterday in Burke County as well. Uh, but yeah, this this is a it's a big mess down here. It's a lot of dirt roads in this county, and so even the ones that don't have the road closed signs, that's wet dirt, and you are seeing tire tracks three, four inches down from when cars are going through. As I was driving by, 
um, down towards Eureka Dam earlier, trying to, to, to get a look at what that was like today. There were some deep tire tracks going down that way, as you can imagine, because that water was just running over the road. We've seen grass just pinned down from that water rushing over it. Uh, we've seen uh, uh, people kayaking, actually, in the in um, in the road where we just were. We, we have a drone video right now. I'm with our news operations manager, Gary Pakula. Uh, so we have the, the drone video that he's ingesting. It's some new stuff. Um, so you can kind of compare what we saw yesterday to what we saw today. But when we were shooting that, that, that one I was talking about, Union Church Road, where that road is completely flooded three, four feet, the house is there. I mean, that water is coming right up to the front door. I mean, if those people are leaving the house, they're either wading through some water or they're taking some sort of boat, kayak, canoe, anything like that, because uh, that water is right on their doorstep. And uh, I know that's something Riley experienced when he was out yesterday in Barnwell County. Uh, Mr. Steele was the guy's name. I think it was off uh, SD39, if I'm not mistaken. Riley can correct it if he's still on here. But um, they, they, that gentleman had animals all in his backyard, quail, goats, chickens, pigs, everything in his backyard. And he said he lost about 100 birds because of that rain, but he didn't want to leave the animals. So he's still there. He was taking his John boat around. Riley was with him. You may have seen that on the newscast last night or this morning. So it's, uh, it's not just here in Screven County that's dealing with it. Barnwell, Bamberg, Allendale, Burke, uh, a lot of our southern and eastern counties, parts of Aiken up towards Columbia a little bit more, uh, are dealing with this. And I know City Hood's out there right now. I think in Bamberg, uh, Riley was in Barnwell. Riley was all over the place yesterday. Uh, Hallie Turner was in Allendale. And I was in Burke County yesterday uh, in Sardis with, um, with Riley for a little bit. And we saw a couple roads there that had some some damage. One was on uh, Beaver Dam Road, where Beaver Creek Road runs underneath. That one wasn't washed out, but it did have water rolling over top of it. So that was one. And then Tom Barzerin Road, that was the big one. If you were heading south from, I think it's Millhouse Road, uh, up to, um, I can't think of the other road there, that, that Highway 23 or, or whatever it is. Uh, it's a small stretch of road, but the northbound lane was completely washed out uh, into the little culverts right there that run underneath the road those pipes and then the southbound lane uh, had a little chunk taken out of it as well so uh, water's powerful and these roads that run over creeks are seeing some of the worst of the damage because that water just eats away underneath that road until something happens like we saw yesterday and a little bit today but uh, so far, it looks like things are on the up and up here in Screven County, which is great. We've dodged the rain, like I said. Uh, I know there was a, a, a possible one to two inches that we were looking at in some areas. Thankfully, all of that has missed here, uh, and it's just been full repair efforts today. I wasn't out here yesterday, but I heard people I was talking to, Gary was telling me, traffic seems to be more normal today than it was yesterday. So everybody's getting uh, a little bit back on their feet after uh, all the damage we saw yesterday, Kayla.